The Nine Freedoms is my personal favourite book. And as I've stressed, uh, the Ethereum Society isn't one of those organisations which just says, oh, well, all the great truth is, is here, there's nothing else. Far from it. Uh, we study a wide variety. I, I actually love the ancient yogas, personally. I love the Upanishads, etc. I could go on at length. But there's nothing for me personally above the nine freedoms as a book of wisdom, as a book of truth, as a book describing our evolution. Uh, it takes us through the, the stages we have to take in this day and age, and there is a great change. And the great change is that in this day and age, we must serve if we wish to really advance beyond a certain level. A thousand years ago and more, one could go into retreat if one was disciplined enough, and it took tremendous discipline, and one could cut away from humanity as some did, and some, I would say foolishly, if I may say, still do, but then you could, and you could uh, almost divorce yourself from humanity and find great enlightenment for yourself. But you can't now. Now we are part of the whole. And if you think about it, what does profound meditation teach you? Uh, uh, speaking for myself and my limited awareness, I would say it teaches you oneness. I would say, say that when you have a realization, you realize your oneness with all life. So what is the logic in realizing oneness with all life and then cutting yourself away from it? There is no spiritual logic. There is no basic logic. We are just as much responsible for each other's evolution as we are for our own, in reality. We are just as much related to the people of China or Africa as we are to our blood relatives, in truth, in the scheme of things. We might, we might, and we might not, but we might have more vibrational attunement to certain people uh, that we've never met than a lot of people that we have met and love, and rightly honour. Uh, we are part of one whole, and therefore service is the only logical thing for us to devote ourselves to. And in this day and age, it's what we must devote ourselves to. And it's a great thing, because in this day and age, you know, the, if you're familiar with yoga and you've come across karma yoga as a teaching, I'd like to say this, that teachings on karma yoga that I've come across compared to, say, the Nine Freedoms or Dr. George King's teachings, are very limited. They're not wrong, but they're very limited. I'm going to go that far. I can't be dogmatic, but that's my finding. Uh, these teachings go way beyond anything you've come across before, or that I've come across before, and I've made a good study of it, in the teachings on Karma Yoga. It's the greatest yoga, it's the greatest path, it's the greatest religion, it's the greatest truth, it's the greatest science really, is karma yoga, is service.